Kentucky style motorcycle uh, policy in Massachusetts administration on the motorcycle and run a scoop show operator. Telephone problem, Tangent 2334. My name is Corey Welch and I am an overnight news photographer. So my job basically consists of being out overnight, listening to the scanners, um, finding what's newsworthy, shooting it, and then people get up in the morning and, and watch the stories that I shoot overnight. So a regular night is um, get out on the road about 11 or 11.30, and a um, big part of the job is listening to the scanner, finding the news, and then going out to it, staying in constant contact with the newsroom, figure out what they need, what's newsworthy, what's not newsworthy, and then um, going out to the scene and shooting it. Medic 1 Engine 2, Douglas Pike, area of Whipple Road, person struck by a vehicle, possible broken leg. You going? Yeah. Did you hear about the pedestrian struck in Smithfield? Received Engine 2. Engine 2, Douglas Pike, area of Whipple Road, so we're just waiting. It sounds like the rescuer in the engine just got on scene. Um, so we'll wait to hear an injury report. Um, so that's good. 21-year-old male, possible right tip-tip of a uh, possible injury. vehicle, sounds like a guy uh, in his young 20s, um, struck by a vehicle, he actually called 911 himself. Um, the interesting thing about this scene is I'm looking around and there's no vehicle present, uh, which means that likely he was struck by a vehicle and then um, the vehicle left the scene before um, police got here, before fire got here. Um, so that means, you know, probably, it doesn't look like this guy has, has two you know, it doesn't look like his injuries are too serious, so likely the big story here is going to be um, them trying to find that vehicle uh, come morning time. So the police will want help trying to find the vehicle, and um, that's where a video like this um, will come in handy later. So not much more you can do at a scene like this than shoot video, you know, get, get, your, um, get your what will become the B-roll of the story, and um, listen on the scanner. Make sure you got uh, something for the newsroom to follow up on later because they'll call and they'll try to get some, uh, some more info later. Social media plays a big role uh, for me in two ways. I use it um, to receive information and I use it to um, send out information. Um, pretty much every story I shoot, um, send out a tweet or two about it. and. Um, you know, you, you, you develop a following of um, other news photographers, other local people um, that um, want to know what's going on overnight. You know, a lot of people who, who monitor scanners um, are on Twitter and they're sending out stuff that they hear. Um, so it, it's a great resource sometimes um, to be able to gather information. You know, sometimes you may miss something so you can go on Twitter and, and search for a keyword and um, a lot of times you know there are people out there posting stuff um, obviously when a big story comes around um, you know residents of you know say it's a house fire residents are out and they're posting pictures on Twitter and um, so it, it's a great it, you know it's just another resource um, to be able to gather information from around the state um, around our coverage area and um, you know it's just another way to be alerted to stories there's not many positive stories that happen overnight. So, um, see a lot of death, see a lot of um, things that you definitely wouldn't see, Th things that you don't see on TV in the morning. Um, I see when I'm there shooting it. Working overnights definitely affects your sleep schedule, your sleep habits. You know, you're up all night, so then I get home and I sleep sometimes for a good part of the daytime. Almost every scene um, that you go to, there are emergency workers, specifically you know, police, fire, rescue guys. Um, and it's important to always maintain a, a good working relationship with them. It's not always easy. Sometimes there are clashes that happen there with, with guys who are taking pictures of, of, of the scene. And um, 
the emergency workers and it's not always necessary, but it, it's important um, to try to keep a good working relationship with them. And we do want to begin with a story that is all new right now. Eyewitness News at the scene of a rollover accident it happened on Route 195 East just before exit three and Smithfield police. They're right now searching for a driver in an overnight hit and run. It, it may just be 10 or 15 seconds of video uh, that they see on the morning news, but um, you know, depending on the story, it, it can take 30 minutes. It can take an hour. It can take two hours um, to get that, get the information and to get the video. And, um, you know, a lot of work goes into not just overnight news, but daytime news is the same thing. Probably a lot more effort and time goes into covering um, stories uh, that just end up being 10 to 15 seconds of video on the newscast.